Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So in this video, I'm going to be unboxing my first ever rainbow crate for the month of February. Um, this is my first one. I've been wanting to get this description box for a while now because I do only queer books, which um, I really wanted a subscription box that, on, that does queer books and that is a special edition of queer books. Um, so I'm so excited. Um, so yeah, this box is called Rainbow Crate, and then they're also doing a new subscription called Rad, which is going to be quarterly, and that one will be adult books, because uh, these are YA mostly, but yeah, so if you haven't heard about this subscription box, they only do queer books, and you get two books in here, and then you get, like, I think two collectible items, um, each month, so I'm excited that we get two special edition books, so yeah. So here's the inside, just some rainbow paper. So, let's go ahead and our first item here, which is this little zipper bag. Um, so yeah, here's that. Um, I like the design of it, but there is some things inside of here. So let's see what's inside. So inside here, we have this item. Oh, it's a, it's a flashlight. That's pretty interesting. I never received a flashlight in a um, subscription box. Um, so there's different modes. So we have this throw light. Let me turn that off real quick. Sorry about that. Um, and then you charge it with a USB, I think. So that's an interesting item, which I actually really like quite a bit. Um, and then, oops. Okay. so. There's this, um, just like a strap, and we have the charger for the flashlight, and then we have this, which I have no idea what this is, and then something else fell real quickly, so I'm gonna go ahead and grab that. Okay, so I think this is like a very, very tiny compass or something. I'm not really sure, um, but I still don't. I have no idea what this red thing is. So let's see, let me see if there's a spoiler card because I have no idea what that is. Um, the spoiler card, which I like uh, for this month, box with duality for this month theme. Um, so let me just see if I can find whatever that red thing is real quick on here. Okay, so actually this is just like a newsletter is in, we have this art print here. And then behind this art print, we have, um, like, this bowler area of it. But it's just a survival kit. But it doesn't really tell you what, um, this little red thing is. Um, and I can't figure it out. So, yeah, whatever. Doesn't really matter. Um, I like the flashlight and the little bag, so yeah. Um, and then we have, um, they do collectible magnets every single month so here's this month's magnet um let's go ahead and take it out and this is inspired by malice um so yeah it's inspired by malice which i have the book it's a duology i have them both but i haven't read them yet but i do plan on reading it and this is really cute so yeah so now let's go ahead and go to the books now um so we have a, what's it called? A book plate, a signed book plate, which is nice. And then we have, so you get a traditionally, traditional published book and a indie published book. So, okay, I'm from the notes. Okay, so in this box we get two books, a traditionally published and a indie published. So one, the indie book is always more custom compared to the traditional one. The traditional book, all they do is a new dust jacket custom cover, um, but the indie book, they go all out with the customizations and stuff. So let's go ahead and do the traditional published book first. And they're all like in these little bags, whatever. So this one, I was really excited that um, they were doing this book because I do not like the original cover. So the original cover is like a real life person photo which is kind of boring um but yeah so we have a signed book plate there from the author 
Um, I have read from this author before and I loved her work. Um, but this month's book is My Dear Henry by Kaylin Barron. Um, and I love this cover. I love the folding on the cover as well. I'm so excited that they redesigned the cover because like I said, I did not enjoy the original cover, which I'm going to have right here. The original cover, so you can see that. And then this beautiful cover. I so much prefer this. It's so beautiful. I love the gold foiling. Um, I think they did such a great job at it. Um, so I'm very happy with this. And this is a very short book, honestly. It's only, it's less than 300 pages. Um, so yeah, I'm, I love this. I'm so excited to read this. And then on the inside of the flap, what they do, they have like these nutrition facts on here, which is pretty funny. Um, and I think that's pretty cute. Um, so they have amount per serving, pages 275, there's 28 chapters, represent, oh my god, representation. Um, don't know why I can't say that. Sorry that the lighting is going in and out as well. We have black gay main character, on your percent, black gay love interest 50%, queer supporting characters 15%, and then black supporting characters 15%. Um, and they do like the plot, the genre, demographics, point of view. Um, so I really love this. This is so cool to look at and I think it's really nice. Um, and then here's the back of the flap. I don't really show the flap ever, but I think um, well, rainbow play is really nice. And then, oh, um, I guess I should just show you the original cover here because they also keep the original dust jacket on for the book. So this is the original book cover. Like I said, I'm not really a big fan of. I think it's quite, it's not that bad actually, but I just don't like it. Um, and I so much prefer this cover. So I'm very happy with this. I love it. So, yeah. Uh, let's go ahead and do the indie published book now. Um, they did have a mistake with this book. Um, and they already are working on fixing it. Um, they sent out an email a few days ago about the mistake um, to the test jacket. And they're replacing it. So, that's good. Um, so, this month's book is... Baker Steve by Cloudy um, Arsentop. So here's the cover. As you can see, you kind of might have trouble seeing the title of it, um, and, but they're working on sending out new dust jackets. So it seems like they're gonna reprint the dust jackets with the white text, but also have, but keep this rainbow falling on it. Um, Cause you can't really see the text there, but I love this cover. I think it looks nice. So that's that. I'm excited. And we have these really, really adorable um, sprayed edges there. And then those are the top and bottom edges. And then here are the side edges. Um, and I think they look really, really nice. And it's really cute. Just like some bread croissants and stuff and some plants. Uh, which is really nice. Um, I really love what they did with the original cover. Um, I want to put the original cover here so you guys can see that. Um, but I love what they did to the redesign cover. Because, I, again, I do not like the original cover. Um, so that's nice. I love the stuff I did. They're so cute. Um, there's, some, <laughs> there's like some chapter breaks uh, with some croissants there. So that's really cute. Uh, let me see if there is... Yeah, even on the chapter headers, they have like croissants there as well, which is cute. Um, so, um, again, with the rainbow crate, they do these the nutrition facts, which is really cute. But here, oh, okay. So here is the end pages for this book. Very, very cute. Um, I like that. It's just the bakery from the book, but that's really, really adorable. And then we have the naked hardback, which is beautiful, which I might add. And I love the folding on the actual naked hardback as well. I think it's really nicely done. And yeah, I love it. 
Uh, like I said, here is the bug plate. Um, for this bug, I love this so, so, so much. Um, there's a map in here as well. Here's the map. Yeah, uh, I'm so glad I subscribed to this box and I wish um, I was able to get off the wait list um, earlier because the books that they have been doing are absolutely gorgeous and I am so happy with these books. They're so cute um, and I can't wait to get the replacement dust jacket on here because it is very pretty but I would like to see the actual title on it. Um, but these are so, so, so beautiful and I love them both. Um, the items, um, we get a cute magnet, which, um, they're adorable. There's not much to say about that. And then the survival kit, which came with the flashlight and some other stuff. I don't even know, but, um, I think they're cute and fine. But, um, the books, I love the books. The books are so, so beautiful. Um, oh, um... On the back of this dust jacket for my dear Henry, we have the author letter on the back of the dust jacket. I did not know that, but that's pretty cool. Um, but yeah, um, I love these. Let me know your thoughts of what they did to the books and the items. Um, make sure to like, comment below, and hit subscribe. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.